A Queens community is calling for a stoplight to be installed at an intersection where a seven year old girl was hit and killed earlier this month. CBS 2's Christy Kalishian joins us live tonight from Astoria with more on what they're asking for and why. Christy? Jessica, passersby have been stopping and looking at this memorial, lighting some candles as of just a few seconds ago, actually, here on this memorial for seven year old Dolma Nadun, uh, Nadun, who was killed right here. She was struck by an SUV um, here on the corner of Newtown Road and 45th Street on February 17th. Um, her family, neighbors here in Astoria, along with city council members and Senator Michael Giannaris, um, are urging the city uh, DOT to implement a stoplight here at this intersection section as well as many others. Um, they say Newtown Road is known to be a busy intersection here. Um, Newtown Road and 45th Street is known to be a very busy intersection here where pedestrians often have to dodge cars, apparently ignoring the stop signs here. We've actually been seeing that as we've been sitting here this afternoon. And the seven-year-old's father says he wants stoplights at every cross street here from 44th Street all the way to 48th Street to prevent something like this from ever happening again. I don't want any other parents to suffer that. If they just engage communities, the people who live here know where the problems are. Mm -hmm. And if they do it proactively instead of reactively, we could prevent things from happening before it's too late. We will not accept no as an answer from Department of Transportation. We need to have a traffic light there because it's right next to a school. It's a very busy street and people are using that as a shortcut to LaGuardia Airport. And the city's Department of Transportation is responding to this saying, quote, DOT is improving crosswalk markings at this intersection. This location has a low crash history with five injuries recorded since 2018 before this fatal crash. And it added that the driver of that car um, that struck Nadun uh, was operating with a learner's permit, um, didn't have a license and an adult present in the car, which is, of course, required by law. And also lawmakers here are just saying that they want Nadun to be remembered for having saved lives here in her community. And the NYPD says this crash is still under investigation. And we're live in Astoria. Christy Kalishian, CBS 2 News. All right, Christy, thank you.